Welcome back to my channel. Always so happy to find you here. I do upload on Thursday, so please subscribe and set your notifications alert on so that you'll be alerted when I get uh, and upload a new content for your view. And of course, my pleasure. I am certainly wanting to uh, this week address the issue that's going on in our my surrounding city, Los Angeles, which I claim is my city too. I don't live in the city, but I um, am certainly an Angelino. Uh, the embarrassment that the city council, so I can't, I don't even say their names anymore. I don't even say their names anymore. Uh, president of the city council and her three compadres uh, a recorded conversation that was so foul, reckless, disrespectful, dishonoring, embarrassing, um, and how it gave a bad connotation to the city as, as a whole. You know, I, I try and stay somewhat involved with, with you know, community things. I'm, I'm not at, at everything, trust and believe. But I try to stay somewhat engaged as to what's going on in my city, surrounding cities. And you think you know a person. You've shaken their hands. You've gone to a dinner. You've heard them speak. And this is the thing about what I call composed leadership. I thought when I started this talk, but before I click record, I reconsidered. I thought I was going to start with how diabolically different polar system opposite of my channel all of this is. Um, and how a year into having this channel um, and what it's about, treatment. You meant to treat that person that way. You meant to, you meant to do what you did. Um, the failure to apologize is what my, I, most, most of my content is about that. Uh, why can't people rise above themselves and, and apologize? I thought I would go over that, but then I, I gave my viewers credit enough to know that by now, you know what this channel is about. And it's not about any of the stuff they did. It's, absolutely opposite, but what a perfect example they are for me now. What a perfect example, because with close to 70 videos now that I've done, I talk about one of the most difficult things to change, address, correct, and improve. And that is positional power i.e. ego. It's very difficult because you're no longer talking, you're no longer dealing with the person or the employee. You're dealing with the positional, you're, de you're dealing with the high source of power. You're dealing with the ego of the person. The person is entrapped by the ego. I've, I've, had, many, I've had many videos that describe that. And if I know anything, I know that. And I know leadership. And let me tell you what I mean by that. With this example of those four people on that call, again, I can't even say their name. It's so embarrassing because to me and probably to you and probably to most people, there is a value that you expect a position to have by natural default of having the position integrity, ethics, mindfulness, ability to communicate from the heart, a change agent, a value-based person. They're none of that. The mere fact to have this kind of conversation and no one pivoted in and stopped any other person in it you're complicit at one or you're, you're culpable on the other. It, you're one of those. And I had a couple of uploads for that. And I said, in my opinion, you, you, I feel my energy. I need my energy to change, to communicate better.
in my opinion, the absolute worst thing in a leadership position is to be complicit of a wrong that you have the authority or the opportunity to correct. It's hypocrisy. I said that in another video. Go back and watch it. Choose any of my videos. Go back and watch it. it it's equal to hypocrisy in a church. There's nothing worse in the church than a hypocrite. You're a fraud. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We're adults here. And I know the talk may seem terse of me right now, but again, I'm offended by it. Here we have the president of the LA City Council making a mockery or a monkery, which she, she calls her colleague son. A monkey. And you can't say these things if they're not already implanted in your heart. It's impossible. It, it's already in you. This is what I mean when I say treatment. You meant to treat that person. It's in you. You have the potential to. Nobody's perfect. I, I can get upset. I'm upset even talking. I can't even, my energy is going there again. It's upsetting because we have elected you to represent us. When I think of, of my city council, when I think of um, people in positions to represent my voice for me in my absence, I expect them to model, represent, and be what I hope in that role. You're representing me. And they were so low down to talk about a colleague's son. Oh, that's child abuse. Child abuse is not just physical, that's child abuse. And I am so proud of the city council coming after them saying, step down, step down, step down. But why did it have to get to the point to where there's some coercing of them to step down? Some of them still has it. And given a half has it apology for it. Yesterday, our president, Joe Biden, is in town now, Southern California, here in LA. to do presidential business. He's been asked questions about that. How small is that? And he says, they should have stepped down. So if the president of the United States says you should have stepped, stepped down, you should have did that right then and there. What are you holding on to? It's the ego. This is what I mean. That is the ego. That's positional power. No one can touch me. I'm a god. That's what that is. I always reference back to Harvey Weinstein. Harvey was Hollywood. You can't get a movie without him approving it. And the whole time, they want to call it sexual harassment, softening the fact that he raped many women. When she said no, right then and there, for you to proceed, is, is against her will, it's right. All of this afraid to use the language of the truth. It's time for a new adventure, people. It's time for a reconsideration of the values that are valuable. And if you don't have those, us letting you decide what you'll do is no longer an option. So it's time to reconsider our elected fish officials' sense of authority. I'm not gonna say, uh, yeah, 
you are going to step down. Particularly, again, I said I didn't want to say their name, but particularly Gil Cedillo, your term is up next month. Dragging this on, holding on is all ego. It's all ego. According to him, according to those who have spoken to him, he doesn't want to go out on such a sour note. Well, then you should have said something when you were on that call. You created that. This is what I mean when people want to pivot, like my past posts, you know, cheaters. And then they say, well, you're never home. No, you took that action. You broke up with that person. Now you're thinking about, no, you took that action. And all this pivoting now and what to do and talking to my attorneys and all this stuff. And they're trying to strategize what to do to get themselves out of the box they created. Step down. Let grace be the end of your race. Step down. It's time for a new adventure that doesn't include you. We don't need that. We are one of four cities in this nation. Besides New York, Chicago, and now Atlanta. It was Dallas, but I think it's Atlanta now. But certainly LA. We are one of the major cities in this nation. In this nation. Who are on the forefront of everything. Who others look at to how to example themselves, uh, who are on the, the first base of everything, the home run of everything. Everyone wants to understand and know how we do what we do. And you do this? Uh -uh. No. It's shameful and it's disgraceful. I'm embarrassed for you. And this models, again, like the, the times during the Me Too movement. Everybody was ashamed. It was years ago and they were ashamed. You still did it. Now they're concerned about the image of their profession, but you did it. Just today, we started the January 6th insurrection uh, a, a committee reconvened today. And so here we are thinking about discussing an insurrection. So it's at the top. The political playing field is shameful. I remember years ago, someone asked me to, I can't remember, not to get in, I'm not, not to get in politics, but to help him with this campaign. And I said, I don't think I could get that close to it because I'm not no good enough. <laughs> I'm just not no good enough. I carry too much charity. Imperfect as I am, my values are much higher than theirs. And I'm not willing to lower my standards to go down to the basement where they are. This is queen level up here. <laughs> so, you know, respectfully, all of them involved, step down. It's time for a new adventure. It's time for a new day. It's time to rise above. It's time to go back to the values and the virtues that we know define a good leader. Trust. Transparency, character, integrity, a sacred heart instead of a hatred heart. Yes, a sacred heart instead of a hatred heart. Examine your own soul. Examine your own soul. Perhaps you can't because the ego's in the way. The ego is the number one thing that will block 
And it's stronger than pride. It's stronger than love. And it's often so strengthened by being able to get whatever they want along the way as they rise up. So now no one can reach them. This is why Michael Jackson couldn't be reached. They become gods in their world and unreachable. Never let me be that. You won't be. It's, uh, it's embarrassing and I hope that our city reconciles its soul and its heart and establish some sense of trust again, expand out the, 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 the boundaries and the borders. What does she mean by he's for the blacks? That, that part too. He's for the blacks. It's, it's present day racism where you divide corridors of people into color groups. This is childish. This is what you do when you're a child. When you divide corridors of people into color groups, if you can do that, you carry a sickness. No, uh-uh. I'm a thousand percent. I'm a thousand percent sure about it. If you carry that, you carry the trauma you carry the hatred. You carry the shattered soul in a body. And you're so broken. You don't even see it. That's why you can do the things you, you can do. You can say that. It's time for a new adventure. They need to step down. We need to expand the, 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 the borders and bring in more diversity and not just for your people. So we don't hear things like, he's for the blacks. So to all of you, from all of us, step down sooner than yesterday. <laughs> step down sooner than yesterday. 4K, nunca in mi vida, para tu, in Los Angeles, your city dad. Porque tú no caracterización para la posición. I just said, please step down and get out of our lives as far as city officials because you don't carry the character for the position. And for me personally, nunca en mi vida. Nunca en mi vida para tú, para todos los personas en la conversación in October 2021. I said, as for all of you, none of you are invited to represent forms of my life or in my life. If you were on that call in October of 2021, trust. Have a nice day. Time for change, people. Wake. Time for change. Those are value systems. Our value systems are being challenged. And in order for us to rise above a better people, we have to harness the very values that carry the values in the first place. And I love you. Subscribe. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry for my energy. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Bye.